Good morning, Hoopty Army. So I'm in one of my little Hoopties, the little Danger Ranger. I was just thinking while I was driving this dude, you know, I don't know if I've seen a video on this, but I'm going to do one. For the younger kids, I know a lot of you older guys know this, but um, when you're driving one of these older trucks with stick shift, this little clutch pedal over here, that's not meant to be something that you rely on all the time. It's supposed to be an accessory for taking off, you know, from a dead stop. And if you need to get it down into a lower gear a little bit quicker or whatnot. And uh, I just want to show you kids, you don't have to rely on that clutch every time you shift. So we're going to take off. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put her in first gear and we're going to take off. Okay, and I'm going to let out. Second gear, no clutch. Third gear, no clutch. Get up around this corner and get our speed up. No clutch, no grinding, no nothing. Why is that? Well, you know when they design these transmissions, they've got synchronizers in there for the gears. And whenever you hit that just right RPM, you can put it into the next higher or the next lower gear. At least one good thing about this truck being a little bit louder, especially for us deaf old guys, you can hear when it hits that point. Otherwise, you can do it by feel once you get it down. And um, I'll show you here in just a bit. We'll get up here at one of these little sharper corners. And I'll downshift it and I'll show you how you downshift. You just gotta get up through here. But you can hear when your engine's running at an optimal RPM. All right, so here comes a little bit sharper corner. So I'm going to go ahead and slow her down. And when you're slowing down, you can feel if you're just putting a little bit of pressure on the shift. Okay, so it went out of gear by itself. Okay, I went ahead and popped her up in the third and gave her the goose, and uh, off we go again. obviously ain't going to work if you're you know bang shifting and trying to drive fast and ridiculous and all that but if you're just driving like a normal human being there's really no reason to be sitting there riding your clutch you know it's only got so many actions in it just like your heartbeat you only got so many heartbeats in your life that's why you want to try to keep your heart as healthy as you can but Make the beat most times you can get it to beat. Same thing with your car or your truck or whatever. If you take care of it, it'll take care of you. This old truck's got 235,000 miles on it. Still gets 28 miles to the gallon. How do you argue with that? So, anyway, I hope that helps out one of you youngins. And, uh, you know, just kind of get out on the back roads there, give a little bit of practice, and, uh, you know, just learn a little something new from us old fellers that already know. So, till next time, you keep watching, I'll keep working.